Jack's fucking fame. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You don't remember me? Pasos. How pasos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicide. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from, all over. Ah, oh, that's great. Travel, see the world. <laughs> yeah, keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know, proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right, two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had huh? to admit, I kind of like the hey, guy. Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He, he had a great set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Soldier. Cheers. Well, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something. What a fool. Soldier. Get in there. You faggot still got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Well, good for you. Now fuck off! Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole, no dick asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you, you spray tan guido douche. What you Girl sure had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> oh, shit! I don't know why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town. in moderation. The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. This looked like goodbye. I know you brought the fucking army down here, but there ain't much left of it. Tony's go- Joe! I'm still hoping I won't remember this tomorrow. The clock is ticking, my. Time to see what's waiting outside for us. Well, it ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. Scotch and pills. What could possibly go wrong? saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. Shit. Ain't gonna make 
make this easy for us, are they? Stay over here. Cover me. Yes, sir. You could have been setting me up for a fall. Something told me to stay put and trust it. from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. Fucking fuck! I killed this asshole for free! Always in moderation. I guess I thought if I was going to be shot in the face in here, it would probably be me pulling the trigger. Be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh -huh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil men. You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be. Land in fire! No, no, no. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking. It was what he was waiting for. A chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. Scramble away from what's left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there. Gunfire over Hoboken. It felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Coming into Newark Airport. Get right on the Pulaski, pal. Don't look down. We're gonna get this prick. <clears throat> Come on, I wanna hear some motivation. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I what? heard something. Kind of Up there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? Oh, 
No, there he is! Shoot him! God damn it! Some help there, brother? I needed help five minutes ago. I thought you were doing fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. Let's go. Por que não posso ficar aqui com você debaixo da mesa? Let's go, come on. Okay, I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. This code should get us into the boardroom. Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh, shit! Are we dead? No such luck. We gotta go. It's through here. The server room is just past those cubicles. These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Crotcha Prado, the black badge. Right-wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless. But I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey, I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. <laughs> Got to get out of here.
meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. Perfect. If I wasn't immolated, I was gonna get crushed to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. There's no way one bomb could have done all this. Unless the place was made of gasoline. This whole joint must have been rigged going to be another charred corpse with his tongue hanging out and his hands to his throat. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. done him a favor. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hell hole. Last bunch of guys who tried to kill me might have had an idea. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey! Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? We came to kill you! Because what you did to us! You killed so many of us! What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where's Fabiana? Fabiana Bronco, where is she? That Commando Sombra got her. Up to you. 
Then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Franco was dead. Fabiano was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was going to kill me, too. I could see that now. I decided that I was going to die sober, not drunk. Ah! <laughs> At least then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all. But it was going to have to do. I was facing in the right direction. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow, like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. E aí, gringo? Que lost, kid. Eu me amarro nos States. Você precisa de ajuda, senhor? Speak English? Aham, uh -huh, falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls, sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? É <laughs> isso. Jesus. At least I had found myself a tour guide. It was Monday afternoon, and I'd already been thrown out of a party, gone to a strip club, and got into a bar fight. This latest midlife crisis was certainly ticking all the boxes. Não sei. Não tô vendo porra nenhuma. A gente desce ou não? Foda-se! 
Isso aí, isso aí já era, não vale a pena, não. Tá certo. O fireworks display was clearly in my honor, making sure everyone knew to roll out the red carpet for their surprise guest. I was walking into another not so welcome party. These hoods didn't look like Commando Sombra. Not that I was gonna get picky. This was clearly their turf, and I just shot up their favorite skin joint. I was getting nowhere fast. The cold turkey was messing with me, like I was looking through another man's eyes. I could hear a woman scream. I thought I'd found Fabiana, but instead I'd stumbled across some testosterone fest. A bunch of young punks with guns killing time the only way they knew how. Nova Esperanza wasn't exactly a dinner and movie kind of place. I recognized the hoods who jumped me earlier. I was trying to decide whether to crash this party or turn back when my natural grace and finesse made the decision for me. That much security, it had to be Serrano's pad. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured he wouldn't mind if I dropped in and thanked him personally for his hospitality. It wasn't like he wasn't expecting me.
I had to hope the king was in his castle.